Hey everybody, it's Tuesday and it is the first day of our Power Derby! So exciting! Anyway, Power Derby time! So, let us discuss what a Power Derby is for those of you who didn't hear about it at yesterday's video. Special Derby rules. So, every task is easier than a normal Derby. Um, I consider it about half easier. It seems like everything they're asking is about half of what they normally ask. Roughly, not perfectly, but close. Um, players in, in our case, we're the Champions League, so we have 18 tasks that we can take. We can use diamonds to get a 19th task, but you can do up to 18 tasks, and in our neighborhood we are expected to do all 18 tasks at 300 points or above. So, I have already done two tasks. I did a soybean task and I did a 15 truck delivery task. Again, if you think about a normal truck delivery task, it's normally about 31. So you see 15, about half of that. So they, they cut the difficulty basically in half, but then they double the number of tasks that you have to do. So, um, and I am doing a boat task right now. I've already sent one boat off. I'm waiting for the second boat to get here. A little over three hours. I'm not loving this boat. I'm really not. Um, I do not like boats that ask for dairy. They ask for so much dairy. Um, and it's also asking for green tea. The green tea is not hard to make. It only takes 30 minutes, but it takes six and a half hours to grow. Because mm. at least with corn or carrots, it only takes five minutes or 10 minutes respectively. Tea, six and a half hours is a long time. So um, I've got, I had some tea going. I think I'm all done with it now at this point. Uh, let's look. Oh, I've got one more going. I'm not sure how many teas it's going to ask me for. Um, I don't think it asks me for a ton. So at the moment, I think I've got like four green teas. And I'll have a fifth when it's done. So, oh, I've got five. And I actually have six. So I should be okay for that part. The butter task. Um, I think that I'm going to be using one of my lovely boat boosters. Remember the one that I got before? I think I'm going to use it. Because it will fill, even if it fills one butter crate, it will be worth it. If it fills two butter crates, it is definitely worth it. And I've got three boat boosters anyway, so I think I'm gonna do that, but not for a little bit, because it's not coming until two hours, 49 minutes. So I'll probably activate it about two and a half hours. And that way um, I won't lose that two and a half hours. I'll get it right before the first boat comes. Um, and then if I get other boat tasks, which is what I'm hoping for, that will help me out if I do some other boat tasks today or tomorrow. So you can see we've got some tasks up right now. So like this fishing task is only 58 pounds. And normally it's what, 108 pounds, 110, something like that. So yeah, that's about half the difficulty. Wool, the only way you collect 37 wool. And this is the crafts tasks. Um, wool 16, raspberry candle three, and pumpkin 63. That wouldn't be terrible. I could do the wool in six hours. Is that how long sheep take to harvest? I think so. Um, I could do that because I have 10 wool. Anyway, I have to think about that. I might do that task if it's still up. Tasks have been going so quickly because everyone's going through them. They probably won't be up by the time I get there. So, all right. The other big news on the home front is tourism season. It is a town task. And look at those rewards. Four diamonds, six diamonds, 10 diamonds. And then if we meet the global event, oh yes, you saw that times 20, 20 diamonds if we get there. So, um, <clears throat> I haven't done, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I haven't done anything in it yet because I'm going to wait till I can get a derby task. So if I can get a derby town task, then I will get the bonuses for the derby task on top of the bonuses for the town visitor task. So I can double up, um, so I can, yeah, I can get double for that. But I should be fine because my whole town is full. I have 42 townies that are completely ready to go. So I should be able to do that one pretty easily. So I'm very excited. Diamonds. Good job, Heyday. Good job. That's a fantastic event. Do that one more often. Please and thank you. All right. Otherwise, I'm just kind of bopping around. I um, because I did that truck task. Um, my barn is looking. It's not looking bad, but I was using up a few things. So if you look through here with me, I'm completely out of olive oil. I'm completely out of bread. Um, I'm making carrot pie at the moment. Um, I'm making some ketchup, I'm making bacon pie, food of damari, I haven't made any because I'm completely out of fish fillets, but I may take the fish fillet task as well um, after I'm done with my boat task. It'll depend what's still up. But I'm going to wait because once I get a ton of fish fillets, then I can just make my food of damari pizza really easily. I also need fish sandwiches, 
see previous comment. Um, ooh, wedging lasagna. Um, let me see if I, I think I can make that now. Yeah, but I'll use it in my last ketchup, but I will be able to get that in the oven. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay, already got a ketchup. I'll put another one in there. Um, the soy sauce takes a little while to make, but then we get to olive oil and ketchup, and those are pretty quick. So we'll do that. And then, um, what else? What else can I check on? Um, raspberry muffin. I think I've got one being made. I'm going to check. Fish and chips. Um, again, we'll wait for a fishing task, hopefully. I need to get a peach jam. I think I need a peach jam in my can maker. The chocolate cake requires butter, and right now I'm saving all my butter for my boat. So as soon as that's done, I will make that chocolate cake. And then my onion soup and my noodle soup are both in the, noodle, in the soup maker, and I'm waiting for fish for the fish. So as soon as I get fish, I've got a ton of stuff that I can make. But um, if that fishing task is still up when my boat task is done, I would be going fishing, and I should be able to get this done pretty quick, probably in two or three hours I should be done with that task. So I'm cranking through them as fast as I can. Um, early on in the Power Derby, it's sort of like a bucking bronco because everybody's grabbing. There was one moment when we literally had no tasks on this board. It was completely empty because they'd either been trashed because they were too low or people were taking them. And as soon as it came up, boom, someone would take it. It was like, oh my heavens. <laughs> At this rate, I was hoping for tasks. So fortunately, I've actually gotten two done. That's a good thing. For a little bit, I wasn't sure it was going to happen or not. All right, let's go over here and see if there's anything to collect. Just carrot juice. What about, ooh, and a cloth. Uh, my last boat was a cloth boat, so I was running, running cloth full speed for a while. I'm good now, so we do need a scarf to put that in. There's my chocolate ice cream that I'm making, which is good. Um, let's see, we need that raspberry muffin. We talked about that. And did, it, did I need a bacon sandwich? Does anyone remember? I think I did. I can't hear you. All right, there it is. Yes, I need bacon toast. So let's see if we're good on the bacon toast. Ah, I don't have enough pork. I'm bacon meat, sorry. And 32 minutes, okay. I'll have bacon pretty soon, and then I can make the bacon toast. So that's not the end of the world. All right, somebody needs help. Let's see if they need help with. I feel like we all need help because it's the power derby. Let's see, ooh, what's he selling? Chaps, not bad, rustic bouquets, I'm okay on that. Yeah, I'm all right on that. What else? Nothing there, it's just need, he just needs uh, trees revived, maybe? What do you think? I am looking, looking, I am looking, looking. Hmm, oh, never mind. it's gone. Somebody else got it, yep, oh well. Someone was faster. All right, what else? So as you can tell, I have most of my fields are growing things. Um, that's the way I tend to work, unless I'm actually doing a harvest task or I'm focusing on one particular crop. I tend to always have crops going. Easy to sell. Um, everything with the exception of wheat and corn, you can usually sell at max price pretty easily. Um, carrots and pineapple, you can make juice out of them and sell those, and those go really quickly too. That's actually what I'm working on right now. I've got another carrot juice in here. Yeah, I do, and pineapple juice. So I'll just put some more carrot juice in there right now. So that's another quick way to make money. Oh yeah, I needed to check. Yeah. Peach jam. All right. Um, so with the exception of wheat and corn, you can usually sell just about everything at max price and it'll go pretty quickly. Wheat and corn, eh, not so much. Usually the market is saturated with them um, because the lower level players, they can't grow some of the higher level crops and so they grow a ton of wheat and corn to make money. So you could sell them for like one coin each. I can usually get corn to go at maybe a max of four, three to four. After three to four coins each, it usually doesn't sell very quickly. Wheat, sometimes I have to sell 10 for a coin. I will sell wheat and corn to these towny people. No, I do not sell rice. I can sell rice at a max cost. So 32 um, pieces of rice sold at max cost will get me more like, 500 coins 144 for 10 so whatever that ratio is 144 times 3 it's about 400 you're 450 right 420 so i can get quite a bit more if i sell my rice on the market than to her but since corn and wheat are hard to sell at max price on the market i go ahead and i sell them um, when these folks come by i just sell them to them and i don't really it doesn't bother me um you're not gonna make <laughs> You will not make your fortune in heyday on corn and wheat, I don't think. Maybe somebody out there has done it. If Ricky Burnett's done it, I will be called a liar. And I'm totally okay with that. 
But the money that, the things that are gonna make you the most money in heyday, in my opinion, are soybean, carrot, and sugar cane. So no, not the really expensive stuff like your tomatoes or your potatoes. Pineapple might, that's not a bad one either. Pineapple only takes 30 minutes to grow, not a bad choice. Um, rice is also not bad, only takes 45 minutes to grow. That's also a pretty good one. So what you're trying to find is the balance point between crops that grow quickly and crops that sell for a large amount of coin. So your largest coins are gonna be things like tomatoes. They're gonna be things, um, well, I can't even do peonies yet. I'm going to in two more levels. Uh, potatoes aren't bad. Strawberries, strawberries sell, but they take forever to grow, right? They take eight hours to grow, I believe. And so it's, it doesn't have a good enough turnaround time to make it a real profitable one. Whereas if you sell sugarcane, you can sell 10 sugarcane for 144. And I think rice is close. Um, so this is where you can make your money. You can also make juice out of the carrots. You can also make, um, if you've got the hot dog stand, you can make tofu dogs out of the soybeans. You can make soy sauce. It takes a little bit, so that's not always a real quick one. Um, but if you're trying to use up soybeans because you've grown way too many of them, make some soy sauce. But you can sell them. And I've sold a soybean cell for 108 for 10. As I said, sugar cane is 144 for 10, and I forget what carrot is. It's a little bit less than sugar cane, but it's still not bad. And so, and these harvest so quickly. Um, just fill your fields with them and then sell them, and that can be some quick coin. What's going on? Oh, all the trash tasks. So, anything else up on the board? Yep, there went the fishing task. Well, there went. So, it'll be a fun time to figure out what will still be available by the time they get to it. Alright, we're doing good so far. We've, we've started off strong. Hopefully, we can finish strong since we didn't do great in the last derby. I don't think any of our bonuses are up now. First one will be 14,000, so probably won't see it today. All right, where are we at? 12 minutes. All right, well, I think I'm going to probably step off of here. Um, nothing really much else going on. Actually, I made some coin. Why don't we put some more hedges up? And then I can have a little really thick. And with more hedges, I can put another one of my machines over there. Working on cleaning this up so it doesn't look quite so messy. Mm -hmm. Alright, which machine? It's going to have to be a pretty little one because of that size. So which machine should go there? I don't... If this one's turned, it might fit. Perfect. <clears throat> hey day. Stop playing around with me. There we go. Okay. So now you're looking at the back side of the ice cream. That's cool. See, there's a freezer right there. That's neat. I never really even looked at it that closely. Yeah, look at these. These are really pretty neat how much detail they put into them. So there's the freezer handle right there for the ice cream. That's cool. What else? So that must be something I'm going to do one day when I'm just bored and like, look, because there's the um, ice cream maker. Oh, sorry, no, this is the candy maker. The ice cream maker's down there. Candy maker. The soup. Oh, look, there's a little chopping chopping block where they made, where they chop up the veggies for the soup. So, yeah. yeah, I'm always impressed by the detail they put onto these. It's really cute. I really feel like they had fun as they put it together. I mean, this is the taco, um, the taco maker. And again, you can see the, the chopping block right there for the ingredients. Okay, well, I'm, I'm done. Oh, rolling pin! <laughs> okay, I'm done. I will step off. I will quit staring at my machines, and I will step off for now. So, have a good day. Enjoy your farm. Happy heyday.